There's a couple of terms that get used interchangeably, which I feel are very different. One is sacred activism, and the other is subtle activism. And um, I'd like to make a distinction. In my case, um, what the story I just told you is not subtle at all. The practice itself is a practice of meditation. It's a practice of prayer. And it's a practice of making offerings, which maybe from one point of view might be considered pretty subtle. Um, certainly going inside and becoming quiet and finding inner peace is a subtle act. Um, the practice itself is a sacred activity. It's asking us, no matter what your spiritual or religious orientation is, to find that source of inspiration and wisdom within yourself and, and draw from it in whatever form that looks like and bring it into action. In the case of working with the treasure vases, um, we, we put these symbolic offerings into the vase with all of our prayers for whatever is relevant in the area that we're, we're going. So in Liberia, the prayers were very different than the prayers for Australia, for example, or um, uh, England, or Hawaii, or um, Colombia in South America. So each of those locations um, has a different call, a different prayer, a different need, a different intention. But um, when we access those, uh, that part of ourselves that cares, that is connected to something so much larger than ourself, our little selfish um, person. <laughs> We're, we're putting something out into the world that is alive, that, ha that ripples out for all time. I always say that when we go into ceremony, we are entering sacred time. And in that place, there is no time, actually. Time falls away, and we, can, we don't know if we've been there for three minutes or three hours. But in that place, everything happens. And that's where the miracles uh, arise. This practice is, is, is very sacred, but it's also very practical. Thich Nhat Hanh is, is my great teacher, and he talks about engaged Buddhism. We engage with, with what is going on around us. We're not sitting in the comfort uh, of our own living room, just meditating. The Dalai Lama, another great example, Dalai Lama said, prayer is not enough. You have to work. You have to turn those prayers into action. And so the, the practice with the treasure vases has, has, has taught me all of this because we do sit in the comfort of our living room and direct our prayers and our intentions to places in the world where there is a need for that. Um, but then we take this, this little clay pot out into the world and we take it somewhere and we enter that community and we ask for the elders to meet with us and we honor them and we ask them if they would like this, you know, and we, we offer it. And then we gather with people um, and we invite their prayers, you know, and those prayers go into the ground. They go into the earth. And in that way, we're making a connection also to our Mother Earth. We're joining in relationship with the web of life.